Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about nested reactivity and how to achieve in an easy manner by using create store. So I have explained what is the problem in updating a signal whenever you have something like nested reactivity and how to create nested reactivity I have explained completely in my previous video watch that for better understanding in this video I'll focus on what is create store and how it helps us to achieve the nested reactivity and we can even make the code very simpler instead of creating unnecessary variables and signals in this video I'll completely focus on the create store and how to use that so let me quickly jump into visual studio code let's see how to create a store and when to use it so whenever you have a type of complex signal and if you want to update some stuff inside that it is always recommended to go with create store for example let me go here and create const I'm using something like user details and I'm using something like set user details so previously we have used a create signal and how to update that we have saw everything so I'll explain you once again so let me create a signal and use an object where the object contains a name called as Sai and let me use an age of 10 so this is my signal which is a bit complex signal because we are using an object inside this now what I want to do is I want to showcase this in a paragraph like name hyphen and we have to display this by using user details which is a signal so I am using a getter method dot name I can show something like this and let me create a paragraph over here and now what I want to do is I want to add an age and now let me get the user details with an age so let me save this now how to update the signals let me create a button for updating the age and the name of a same signal so now let me use on click and on clicking of this I want to update the name update name and let me use this as update name now let me create one more button with update age so what I'll do just I'll go here and create these two functions which is an arrow functions so let me create update name is equal to and it's an arrow function so what I want to do is I want to update the name inside this user details so for that sake let me use set user details so set user details and I want to update a name over here and the name is something like let me get a math dot random value and let me convert into a string format so let me save this now let me create one more thing called as const update age copy this and put it over here and give an arrow function and what it has to do is I want to update the same user details but with the previous age value so let me get the previous age values by using user details of dot age plus one so like this we can update but already we saw this example and we saw the problem let me remind you that problem what's happening over here let me go here and here we have update name and update age for example when I'm clicking on name so you can see the age has been vanished that means the value of age has been removed when I click on age so the label is showing update name for both let me rename it to age and save this go here now you are seeing Sai when I click this the name is updating but the age is getting vanished and it is not persisting the previous value let me click on this now it is showing none because it is not able to get the value because it is undefined and undefined when concatenated with one it is showing something like none so this is a problem which we have so to do that what we did is we are trying to use a spread operator and we will try to persist the previous details so let me get the previous details and update only the name and we need to get the same details here also and update only the age now let me save this go here when I click on Sai, Sai is getting updated that name is getting updated and when I click on age age is also getting updated without disturbing my previous values but if you see here we did a spread operator over here and we are creating a new object and giving it to set user details so it's a very big process but in this case it could be a small but if your object is very big or if you are handling with an array it is very hard to manage this so for that sake we came up with store 
So store helps us to avoid all this creation of new objects and spreading the current object. So let's see how we can achieve the same thing by using store. Let me copy this and put it over here. Let me comment this. Now I'll make this as create store. So store is something like a signal itself, but it has some extra features. So let me import this and the store can be imported from solid.js slash store. So let me import create store from solid.js slash and the name is something like a store. So let me import from store and this store is giving you the two things. One is getter value and the setter method. So instead of using this two, we will change the logic over here. So what I want to do is I want to update these values. So set user details, but this time we are using a store. For that sake, what I can do is I can just add a name and the property, whatever you want to update, just add that. And you can use math dot random dot to string. So let me use a method over here. Let me save this. Now go and check your output. So let me clear this off and reload. Now you got a problem. User details is not a function. Why? Because here the signal will give the getter method, but create store will give you the value. So let me use an object value, not the getter function. Wherever we are using the user details, you have to use only the value. Let me save this and go here. Let me clear this off and reload. Now you got the name and you got the age. I have changed the logic for name and whenever I click on this button, the name gets updated. So let me go here and click this, click this, click this name is getting updated and it is not affecting the age. And if you see here, we are not using any spread operator and we are not creating any object over here. So that is the advantage of using a store and even the store helps us to write in a different fashion. For example, if you see here, set user details and I want to write the age by taking the previous age value. So for that sake, set user details, that is store is giving one more approach where you can add an age and the second parameter, you can make it as callback function where the, you will be getting the current age over here and that age can be added with the plus one and that will be updating your age value. So this callback function should return a value and that returned value can update this particular property. So here we are updating directly here. We are updating with a callback function. If you want to do some set of operation, you can do some set of operation with the current value and then you can return a new value for this age. So let me go here and just reload. When I click on update name, it is updating the name. When I click on update age, it is getting updated. So there are many ways to use this create store. So this is how we can use your create store. We'll talk about create store and compare this with the nested reactivity, which we discussed in our previous video and see the same example and how you can resolve the problems which we faced in our nested reactivity. So whenever you have an object or whenever you have an array in a state format, then better to use create store that helps a lot and it helps us to create easy manner of complex logics. And it is very easy to update the states for a particular store values. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my videos, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.